When you got back to Germany, uh, were you surprised at the condition of your country well, at that see, point? Well, the thing is, you keep quiet because we were we were a, uh, a nation that was we lost the war. I was called a murderer. I was called a that I uh, uh, raped women, especially murderers. Every day I heard that from your own and, people. Yeah, from our own, some from our own people. Every newspaper you read, it was, and we weren't. A woman asked me once, years ago, she said, you killed people? I said, yes. How many? I said, I wouldn't know, maybe a couple thousand. She said, it's terrible. I said, yes, it is terrible. What did you think about it? I said, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because it was, the, the ratio was so, so offset you shoot first, or you duck first, Survival. just to see your wife. Yeah. Survival. Right. Survival, you just said the word. That's the thing, survival. So you don't think. You don't have time to think. Did you, uh, I, I know in a lot of uh, the aftermath of the war, there's been a lot of discussion of what's called post-traumatic stress disorder. No. Was there nothing like that? You know, you, you just shut it out. Okay. You just shut it. See, this, this started here. I would say for about 30, good 30, 35, you know, maybe even 40 years. I don't even think about it. I just talked to my wife once, just once a little bit, and that was it. You just forget it. You have to forget it. And then uh, somehow I heard that my division has a reunion every couple of years in Germany. And we had, uh, we had visitors from Germany, friends and all that, and they, I, I asked him, Please let me know, find out, nobody did. Until, until I got, got ex, uh, accidentally uh, from my daughter's father-in-law, an article from the, uh, some magazine. And there was a little notice in from Division Ghost Deutschland. So I was on that phone the next five minutes I said, look, he said, yeah, he said, the first time we heard from you. I said, that's right. I said, give me some numbers. I gave him some names. He said, you got them? He said, yes. I said, give me their phone numbers. I called him, and since then, we go over every three years, maybe to Germany, but this was the last time. So when you guys get together, do you talk about your, your life after the war primarily? No, no. Okay. No, we don't. We don't. You see, we, everybody, we all made this because we usually sit together from our company. Okay. And everybody had all, almost the same experience unless they got wounded and they came back a couple of months later or a couple of weeks later. And uh, But otherwise, we all had, we were on this, in the same... I said it to the boys, I said, look, I said, we were all young and we were all very foolish. <laughs> what else was there? We were young, we didn't know. I said to my wife, I said, when I had my, I think it was a 60th birthday, I said, Jesus, 60 years old? I never, never thought that I would, that I would get old because there is no guarantee. Especially then. There is, uh, you didn't know you were you were alive the next minute. And every day. Almost, almost every day. So that is so deep in you. Because you didn't know you were you were alive. You couldn't make plans for, oh, I'm four weeks, I do this, and I will do that. There was no such thing. And then, of course, after the war, the hunger came in Germany, and uh, uh, it was rough. It was rough. Um, I'll have to edit. <laughs> it's one of those moments that gets edited out. Um, due to the war, Germany suffered a tremendous loss of a particular age group of young men. Yeah. Um, can you tell me anything about the effects on the, the, the year, society? The, 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 year, the year 23, 20, 24, and 25, the birth year. I was born in 24. I would say 80% of this. Yeah. We, my class, uh, the high school. I think I think there were there were only four. I know they are alive, and we were 24. Out of how many? 24. Okay. 
Okay. And so the young ladies, I mean, that had to be very rough on the young ladies of Germany. Bad, bad odds, bad yeah. odds. Okay. But see, somehow it evens all out. You know, and then the young ones come up. And uh, I, I wouldn't know too much because we left, we left Germany in 56. <clears throat> and since then we are here, very happy. And you're from Vermont, you say? Well, we are, we are now. We made our, we live first in Connecticut. Okay. All those years I retired from Connecticut, we went up to Vermont. And what was your profession then? I was a, a tool and dime maker. Okay. Tool and dime maker. And, uh, we made the, the uh, gas turbines for the UAE helicopters and later on for the Abrams tank. In the end, yeah, then I retired. What made you come to America to make well, that choice? Well, I tell you. My father was here, and I, we got in touch again. I wrote to him, and the letter came back from the Red Cross. Uh, sorry, we can't find him. Because I knew around Bridgeport, Connecticut, he lives around that. Not, never, because everything was, was lost uh, or misled or whatever. You know, I only knew he, was, uh, he lived in Connecticut around Bridgeport. So the letter came back. Uh, they couldn't find him. I was encouraged by some f uh, friend I knew, and he was looking for his parents or his father. And that guy was 50 years ago. So they found him. So that's why I was encouraged, but the letter came back. Okay. I knew also that he had, from my hometown, he had a sister there, and I wrote to her. She didn't answer me, but she wrote to another sister, Helmut is looking for his father. And she, in turn, wrote to the third sister, who was already here. My father had a little factory, uh, a small factory, yeah, and he was working for him, her husband. And then all of a sudden, Helmut looks for his father. And then all of a sudden, he wrote, and that's where the circle closed. And we got in touch, and uh, he, he came over in 55 and 56 we came. Yeah. Do you have any children? We have two children, yeah, a boy and girl. Okay. And I'm a great-grandfather. Okay. I'm very happy many, about it. How many grandchildren and great well, we have, geez, I gotta look, I gotta <laughs> count them all together. Five, uh, five grandchildren and, uh, yeah, one great-grandchild. Okay. Yeah. Just getting warmed up, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy about it. Okay. That's